a loop of r equals 4 cos 3 theta. So let's do a quick sketch of this then for, to get one of the loops. Here's naught. Cos of naught is 1, that will be 4. Now when it's pi over 2, what would we need to put in here? Pi over 6 to get pi over 2. Yeah, pi over 6 is here. Quite shallow. That's pi over 6. When you input that into here, 3 pi over 6 is pi over 2. and cos. So you'll get a naught here. So it's very small. And you can see the symmetry. So you're going to get a loop from this curve simply by going from 0 to pi over 6. So let's do that then. So here, the area then is equal to a half. Using the formula for the area uh, between the two values. But we're going to double it because we're just going to get half the value between 0 and pi over 6 of r squared d theta which equals the 2's cancel, 0 pi over 6, of the 4 cos 3 theta, r squared d theta. Integral, 16 cosine squared 3 theta, d theta between 0 and pi over 6, which equals, take a eight of those out and we'll leave two cos squared three theta there and we can change that using a double angle formula so two cos squared three theta will be cos six theta won't it plus the one d theta now we can integrate we get eight cos integrates to sine six theta over six uh, plus theta between 0 and pi over 6. This will be 0, won't it, because you get sine pi, and this will be 0 because sine 0 is 0. So the only non zero terms that come out from the theta, So and this one's going to be 0, so we simply can put the top value in the theta and write 8 pi over 6, which equals 4 pi over 3. Unit squared.